this is Math 13 for Hartnell College, one of the online classes. So I want to just go over basically how this class runs. Perhaps you went to the orientation and uh, this would be reviewed. You don't have to watch this. Or perhaps you didn't and you want to know how does the online class work. Well, there's basically two places where the homework is going to be done. One is at my website, which is um, you must know because that's where this video is posted. So anyway, if you take a look at the website, it at the beginning says, please read the syllabus. If you haven't done that, please go ahead and do that. The syllabus is actually sort of long because it not only contains the information for the class uh, where the other homework is done, which is at mystatlab.com. That website, you will need to uh, pay that company I believe it's about $85 to be able to do the homework. And at my stat lab, the homework is going to be very detail-oriented. That's where you're going to get into the nitty-gritty of each formula, why it works, every definition, what that definition implies, etc. At my website here, this is more of a, an overview. After you've done the my stat lab detailed homework, at their website, then you come to this website and you take a look at, there's an overview of chapter one, you could take a look at that, you don't have to, but I would, if I were taking the class, I definitely would at least look through there, just to review definitions, formulas, how things are done. Then there's sample questions that I've created, and better than that, I've got YouTube videos where I solve those problems. So in that, I'm showing you what it is I expect you to be able to do from that chapter, how I expect you to be able to do it, should you be using a calculator, how should you should be using the calculator, what your answers should look like, what graphs you should draw, etc. Then once you've done all of that, in a way to basically verify that you've done the stuff for chapter one, you go to this link, which is a survey on SurveyMonkey, and the due dates are listed right there on the website. And um, it's just going to be at most 10 questions, usually eight or so questions. And they're just asking questions that are similar to the sample problems. So I'm just trying to see, do you understand what it is you're supposed to do? Are you able to do those things? And then if you take a look on the syllabus, the second page of the syllabus, it's got a list of when things are due, the second page says, you know, here is what sections are due on Monday, January 27th. So that's where you're doing the My Stat Lab homework. And then uh, take the Survey Monkey number one that's due on Friday, January 31st. In addition, there are reviews. And if you printed out the whole syllabus, then these reviews are. Um, then stepping back even one more step and saying, okay, we've done the detail at my stat lab, we've done the overview on my website, now let's step back one more, and if this was an exam, these are the type of questions you would be expected to be able to do. And then these you physically write on the piece of paper, I know it's an online class and it's weird to write on paper, but you write on the piece of paper and you turn this in. So you can, if you are going to Hartnell's campus, you can um, slide that under my office door in D253, or you can scan it and email it to me. If you're going to scan it, please make sure it's legible. Don't just take a sloppy picture that I can't really see, but actually take a decent picture with a flash so that I should be able to read it. So anyway, with these reviews, well, like I said, you can print out the syllabus to see all of those, but if you follow this website where you got this video, then as you go down, it then has the reviews there just one at a time with a reminder of when it's due. So at any time, if you have any questions, feel free to email me. It's G Perkins, G Perkins at hartnell.edu. Talk to you soon.